Well, hello everyone. Welcome uh, to Not Tying Tuesdays. My name's Sam Wakefield, aka the Phantom Harvester, and I'm going to teach you how to tie my version of the, you know, equipped to whip up PR knot in the heat of the moment for your coastal water fishing, whether it be just spinning for carboy, snapper, kingfish, you know, your stick baiting, your live baiting, your jigging, things of that nature. Um, some people might disagree with this knot, but I find that the extended version of the PR knot can result in fish being missed out on because it takes too long to tie. And um, you just gotta take advantage of those situations because fish ain't gonna stick around forever because they can swim, you know? And if their food moves, that's where they're moving to. So, basically, with a PR knot, which I believe is the best braid to leader connection you can tie for casting or jigging, people might disagree with the casting one, but you can tie them in a format which is good for casting. You just gotta, you just gotta adjust, right? Um, for your PR knot, you're gonna need a bobbin. This is a high quality one. I mean, I like to use good gear for all my outdoor stuff, especially fishing, because I feel like I'm wasting my time if I'm not using good gear. Um, there are cheaper versions of bobbins, but they don't, they're not as solid. Like this is made of proper aluminium and it's got a drag tensioner on it and I can adjust the pipe height where the braid feeds into so you can slide up and down. So that, that, that helps a lot and you know, it's just, you know, just buy a good one, all right? Just make my life easier. Make your life easier, you know? But just don't lose it over the side of the boat. I actually lost my split ring pliers the other day from a decent swell, so that, uh, that kind of stung. Anyways, um, got my leader material. This is 100 to 120 pound supple trace. It's just some cheaper stuff so I can show you how to tie the knot. It'll tie well. Um, because it's a soft leader material, so the braid's going to bite into it. I've got my braid, it's 50 pound, pretty standard sort of line weight to tie on to this leader thickness, um, and I've got heaps of it left over. Um, so to start this knot, you can leave the leader for now, that's for later on. You're going to loosen your drag off a bit. Anti clockwise to loosen the drag, I want my pipe set at about a finger width height from the drum so my angle isn't too steep from the line at the pipe end going on to the drum I just don't want to damage my braid secure the pipe where it is feed the braid down the pipe la -di -da -di -da. comes out the other end then I'm using these rubber grommets to secure my line onto the bobbin. This will allow me to wind the braid on. Now I'm going to keep the drag sitting like at about that tension and then I'm going to wind it on. And 60 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that's 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I mean, not 1, 6, 6, 0. Funny because I did a Masters of Science and I can't even count to 60. Now. I've uh, established the amount of braid that I want on my bobbin, sweet as. Doing my drag up to a nice tension so that it's going to create, you know, a good wrap on my leader. The braid's going to wrap firm, and um, but it's still able to come off the bobbin. So you need to find that sweet sweet spot, and that only comes from tying experience. 
if you don't know a knot, tie it a lot. That's what someone said to me. He's a good fisherman. Um, and it's so true. But he probably would say this knot still sucks. So <laughs> That's just one of those things. People have different opinions, but that's okay. We're all, we're all different. All right. So, uh, got the braid in my bowl and in my right hand. I've got the leader material on my left. Going to marry the two together so they're sitting flush with each other. Cupping the bowl in my left hand. Everything's mirror opposing, remember, because I'm using the selfie camera. And, and I've got the leader there too, just holding it together. And, um, and I've got the tag end, which is right pinched between my thumb and that pistol finger okay now i'm then gonna wrap all of that onto my pistol finger and pinch it together like so until the end of the pipe of that bobbin is right where my where i'm pinching my thumb onto my pistol grip finger which has got all those wraps there then, I'm going to give myself some space with my left hand between that and the bottom. And I'm taking two game wraps. See, I can hold the leader loose or tight. Loose or tight. Or just loose. You know, I can just, it allows me to have more control when I'm spinning the bobbin around and putting the braid onto the leader. All right? Keep everything neat and organized. Now, I want to have about that much material, so pull a little bit of line off the drum. So you're working with about five centimeters of line, or five to six centimeters of line below the pinch point. Now, in a clockwise direction, rotate your leader around the braided bobbin not the braided bobbin around the leader because your bobbin spins out of control and it's going to just twist on every, all the other lines that are around it. There you go. You have acquired your loose wrap starting from the pinching point to the pipe end of the bobbin. Now your tight wraps start. Okay. And here we go. This is a weird movement and you just have to trust it, but you just, you can start slow. Okay, and then you can go real quick. And that, that, that's just all comes from experience, right? So there's no pressure to do tight wraps at a real fast speed straight away. It's just what happens from experience to being able to do it at speed. Now I felt my bobbin slip a bit there, so I'm going to do my drag a little bit tighter and always adjust things along the way. Now, that there is probably a good enough, like a good length for a head, a tight head. So this is the head of your knot going to your leader. That's the tail end, which is loose. Now, the, the head end of it is close to two centimeters, just under two centimeters. That would be great for jigging but not for casting. So I'd probably like do a head for casting probably less than a centimeter and it'll still be strong because you just want the flexibility of that tail end to be able to release out your eyelets um, when you're casting, if you're stick baiting or you know casting Grim Reapers or whatever on a heavier set. Um, you just don't want to do tight wraps all the way through and all the way back because then you're not bananas and it doesn't allow the line to free, freely pass through the guides, okay? Um, so in this context now, it is a jigging knot. Um, if I wanted to make it a casting knot, the, the tight head wraps would be half that, and um, I'd probably make the tail end of it like three centimeters or something. So if it was four centimeters all up, the, the PR wraps, a centimeter of it would be tight wraps at the head and three centimeters loose at the tail end. Okay, now I'll walk my way up the line, just whatever way you can, to create a pinch point intersection to start your bobbin going back the way it came from, so you're doing a layer over the top. 
and you just spin it and spin it. Just start it slow, just one wrap at a time before you ascertain the bobbin to go back the other way. Now I can just do it fast, it's ready to go. And it's working its way back, I can see it, I can feel it. It's hitting the, the light wraps now. And that's when you gotta to start to think about finishing the knot. PR wraps. So all up, this is a sick jigging knot. Okay, I've got about six centimeters of a PR wrap from the braid onto the nylon. And I'm happy with that, I'm gonna stop. But before you just let go of everything, don't ruin all your hard work. Pinch your thumb and your pistol grip finger or trigger finger onto the pike end of the bobbin. Hold the leader, hold that all together and let everything go in your other hand. Pinch that tag end with the braid and the leader and just pull it out straight. Just getting all the twists out of it. And yeah, you'll be at this point in time now you just got to finish it and we'll be good to go. Loosen the drag a bit. Work with about 10 inches of line below the bobbin or between the pipe end of the bobbin and the, the pinch point. Tighten it back up again so it doesn't loosen up and fly everywhere. Now we've got to start our successive half hitches. Now your first half hitch has to start with the bridge forming on the top. So I'm going to create my bridge and it's on my side of the leader. See that? On my side, not on your guy's side. On my side, it's just a bridge, I haven't passed the line through. Then I'm going to drop the bobbin down, go around, up, underneath and out the top. Use my third hand. Light lock for the first um, half hitch. Take a wrap on the leader with your left hand. Take a wrap or two with the braid on your other hand. Put some tension through that knot. You want to feel it tight and you want to see this braid change color from being pulled tight. And then you know you're doing it properly. And just lock it a little bit again, that half itch. Okay, that first half itch is sweet now. Now we've got to do the braid on the alternate side so that your half itches sit flush down the line. Okay, so we're making the bridge on the underside this time, which is on your guy's side. Okay. Right, so that, that bridge is on your guy's side. So I'm just showing that I'm meeting the bobbin up to the leader by going away and towards me, and the line's pulling apart. This loop is on your guy's side, not mine. I'm going from the top down and out the bottom. Okay. And I'm pulling it tight so that the half hitches sit nicely together in a straight line. All right. Braid wrap, leader wrap, pull tight. Now, I'm going to do, show the next half inch and then I'll do the other three real quick. So you have to make a bridge on the top towards me. So that, that, that line, this, this bridge, see that? It's pushing on this side that is facing to me, not you guys. 
So every odd hitch, half hitch, forms a bridge on the top. Bobbin goes around, underneath out the top. Pull it tight. Take the braid wrap twice, lead her out once. Pull it tight, lock her off. Do the other three quick, rehearsing what I'm doing. Bridge underneath, bobbin on top, dropping down throughout the bottom. Pulling tight. Initial lock, wrapping, wrapping, pull tight, lock, half hitch on top, so the bridge is on top, down underneath, out the top. That was where the bobbin was passing through by the way. Pull it tight, wrap, the braid in your hand. Wrap the leader in the other hand, pull it tight, lock her off. Last one. Underneath bridge, rope bobbin goes from the down, uh, around, from the top, down and out the bottom. Pull it tight, lock it, braid, wrap. Nylon wrap. Pull tight. Lock her off. Okay, so that's six successive, six successive hatches. Six successive half hitches in a straight and neat line on the back end of my PR wraps. Now, I've got one more thing to do. To knot onto the leader with the braid so this is the odd bridge to make so that goes on the top remember so I've made a bridge on my side towards me giving myself a bit more line and then instead of just passing through up and out the top once I go five times three four five maybe one th one more for good measure, six times we'll call it. Okay. And then sort of just get the bobbin out of there. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to take the drag off, see you later, bobbin, take it off, release it from the brace set, throw it over the boat, you don't need it anymore. Nah, you don't want to throw your bobbin away, mate. That was $70 worth of kit right there. That would um that would make me heart that would leave me heartbroken if I lost that bobbin. Okay. So now you're left with this bridge that has five um, pass throughs instead of one. So it's like a half hitch with five pass throughs. And um, it's gonna be really hard to pull tight if you just go like that. Okay. So I'm I'm just gonna make the size of the bridge and the half hitch smaller by just cinching it down a bit. So I'll just play with it a bit to get it down in size, but not pulling it tight. Okay, see where I'm at now? Right, the bridge is open and the wraps are just there. They're just sitting there, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do with this stuff, this braid is that I'm going to loosen the bridge so that the half hitches unwrap or the pass throughs unwrap up the top and tighten underneath or tighten at the other end and then this is called a risotto or whipping finish and then basically your line your line should look like this before it tightens so it's way cleaner and it, and it and it basically makes the line have a clean finish and it, and it pulls it underneath all those wraps so you're going to get a tighter cleaner finish and um once once it's all lined up get it ready to pull tight 
Take plenty of wraps on that braid tag in. This risotto finish is ready to pull tight. And I get some wraps around my my leader tag in and my pinky uh, and my main one. And then I'm gonna pull that risotto up. Now some people might think I'm crazy doing this with gloves, but I don't have the same feel when I have them on. Um, in doing so, I've lost a bit of feeling in my fingertips, so there's a bit of a trade-off there. But this knot's basically finished now. Um, I'm just going to cut the tag ends, but before I cut the braided tag end, I'm going to half hitch. Just do a simple half hitch um, on the braided tag end. And what that does, okay, what that does is um, basically if I pull that half hitch and bulb it right where the tag end of the risotto starters risotto starts then when the when the knot's settling in a little bit and say if a big fish starts pulling against it and creating force in that knot the braid's less likely to slip through okay and i don't want to have to like burn finish it right on to there if you know because i'm insecure whether the braid's going to hold on that risotto finish i'll just put a little stopping knot there just to hold it in there just for a bit of security okay and cut the tag into the braid off and um that's done there so that's sweet now you could burn the end of that braided tag in but that was you know it wasn't the cleanest cut but um it was clean enough i'm happy to leave that and what you do is you just cut the tag end of the nylon out the head of the um, the uh, risotto finish about two mils. Okay, and uh, you just put a bit of saliva to protect the knot and the braid, not the tag end of the nylon because you have to burn that you want it to heat up and nub I call it nubbing and I'm gonna just put a very small mushroom at the end of that like that wet it, set it and that is the PR knot simplified version without the braided finish which means the braid has, we haven't half hitched the tag into the braid from the end of the PR wraps up the braid and then risotto finish there to protect the tag end of the leader from rubbing on the braid um, because it takes way longer and if you're in the heat of the action it's almost impossible to get that knot tied in under five minutes you know that I can do this knot really quick if I want to and um you know, I tie a really long wind on leader, so I'll tie like a six meter wind on leader after I've tied this knot, so I don't have to do this all the time. I want to restrict the amount of times that I do this because I don't want to miss out on good fish. Um, and by nubbing the end of the nylon, it acts as a stopper for the knot to settle in a bit, so that if it slides back a bit, it's you know, it's going to hit that and tighten on there and just become even more tight. Um, it makes extra security for me. And it also makes it smoother on the braid so that when it rubs up against it, it's not going to get so damaged. And that's it. Strong as. I'm going to take a couple wraps there, a couple wraps there. Put. Not good at the braid, mate. It's holding tight. Phantom Harvest or Phantom Harvesters tutorial on the PR knot if you want me to do a better cleaner video with the GoPro or something like that I'll borrow my mate's one and I'll see how it comes out but I'm interested to see your guys feedback like and subscribe 
and um, tune in next time for some more knots. See you later.